over and over in his book. Have you seen second chances in our scriptures? How about Sapphira and, Sapphira and uh, her husband? Ananias. Ananias. Yeah, they, they had... You, you ask Sapphira and, and Ananias. Did they get a second chance? No, they did not. They lied to the Holy Spirit and they died right there on the spot. Um, so, uh, and I'll say it again. So, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. So, I've read this, I read this verse before. It says, There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither bond nor free, there is neither male nor female. We are all one in Christ Jesus. Amen. So we are all one together. And it's amazing, when, when you look back at how God created the earth and he, and he made Adam and Eve, well, He made Adam. And Adam, if you look up the word Adam, it means mankind. And... Uh, you, you could imagine that all of us were in Adam. So when God speaks to Adam, He's speaking to the whole human race. And I, I, I kind of believe that when God is speaking to any of us, He's speaking to the whole human race. We are, we are actually one, one organism. One human. We're one human race. We are, we are one blood. We are all a, together. And that leads me to my last point. And this is kind of touchy because, you know, like I started out, I, 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 want, to, I, want, to, I want to direct people in a way that's not, that's, that's, that's in a nice way. And, and, I'll, I'll, and all I want to do is talk about the Word. And uh, in, in, uh, in Hebrews, and some of you already know where I'm going. <laughs> Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 24. It says, And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, exhorting one another and so much the more as you see the day approaching. We do not come together enough. Sabbath is not enough for us to come together. We need to meet more. If you want me to come over to your house, call me. I'll come over. We'll talk about this. There is, uh, there's reams of spirit of prophecy that, that, that say what I've said today. If it doesn't make any sense, I can show you in the spirit of prophecy. You can read it for yourself. And I guess that's what, another thing I'm trying to say is don't take my word for anything that I've said today. Don't take my word for it. You need to, you need to, this needs to be in your heart. Amen. Into your heart. I can't download my brain into your brain. God has uh, made it so that that's not possible. But scientists are working on it now where they could do all this crazy stuff. And maybe they will before the end, <laughs> end of time, maybe they'll be able to do it. But I doubt it because God is, is infinite and we're finite. So, my, my, I'm asking that you make a point for us because that's how we protect each other. We come together and we talk about these things. We reason these things together because without each other, Satan, unfortunately, he's very powerful. He's, he's no mat, we're no match for him. He can, he can run roughshod up one side of us and down the other. But with Christ, He can't do that. And Christ is the one that has uh, sponsored this verse. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. He put this verse in here because He wants us to come together. Amen. You know, if, 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 I wouldn't be up here talking to you if, if this verse was not true. And I am here for, for any of you. Anytime you call me, I'll be there. And some of you already know that. Amen. You call me, I'll come to your house. You call me wherever, I'll come get you. 
But I think that we should be that way for each other, not just just the pastor of the church, but there's other people in here you could call also. But we should be able to, to depend on each other. Amen. And with Christ as our head and our center, I, I think He demands it. <laughs> I mean, really. And, and, and we can say no. He, he's allow us to say no. But how, you know, we can't be fixed without Christ. And He has told us, come together. And I like that song, sitting at the feet, sitting at the feet of Jesus. That's 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 what that's all we're doing. We're sitting at the feet of Jesus. It says, uh, "Give me the mind of Jesus." And if we have that mind of Jesus, we're obligated to each other to share that mind of Jesus. Because not one of us knows everything. Uh, certainly not. Certainly not I. But I love the Lord, and I, I love talking about Him, and, and and I can do that. And some of you know that I can talk most of the time pretty good. But, uh, you know, uh, as we were one in Adam, we need to be one today. And I think that's going to take us home. Uh, the, uh, the, the breathing thing is just beautiful. It just shows. It, it, God made us uh, in His image. And God is always others-centered. And I think that's what He's calling us to be in. And when we keep ourselves, keep to ourselves, are we being other centered? Or are we being, what's that bad word? Self centered. Mm -hmm. I don't like to use that word, but sometimes it's necessary. And John, 1 John 2 27, it mm -hmm. says, But the anointing which you have received of him abideth in you, and you need not any man to teach you. But as the same anointing teacheth you of all things, and is truth, and is no lie, and even is at, hath taught you, ye shall abide in Him. So the Holy Spirit is our teacher, and He sends folks like me into your lives to say, "Hey, we need to do something different. We need to, we need to, uh, or, or we're not doing something correctly." And I'm not trying to correct you. I'm just trying to tell you, read the scriptures and do what they say. And I think that God is calling us, uh, I know God is calling us to a deeper walk with Him, to be closer with Him, because from, what I, from my perspective, He's not far off. He's not far off. Our closing song today is number 322. Nothing between.
somebody tells you that Jesus is coming back to this kingdom on this earth, read John 18, verse 36. Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. Father, we thank You so much that You have loved us, that You have redeemed us, and one day You're going to glorify us. Father, may we not miss heaven. I pray that You would send people into our lives that teach us more about Jesus. Lord, we invite the presence of Your Holy Spirit because we know He is our real teacher. Father, we want to do Your will and Your works that others would see Jesus in us, that we might live a sermon instead of telling a sermon, that others would see Jesus and come to Him, that this work could be finished. Father, we want to come home. Father, we're tired of this, this, uh, the terror on this earth. But Father, we also know that You're using these things in our lives to build our characters. Father, may we not resist the character building. May we allow Your Holy Spirit to uh, give us strength that we can stand up under these loads that are building our characters. Father, we want to be ready. So we ask that You would not remove the thorns out of our flesh, but You strengthen us that we can stand under the load. Amen. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.